Hey Premiere Pros, it's Paul Murphy here, and today I'm going to show you the quickest way to replace a font everywhere in your project. Okay, so I have two projects open here. Here's the sequence from the first project. It's just five titles on a timeline. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I have the second project over here, which is another sequence with five titles, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And all of these titles were created using the essential graphics panel over here, except for this last one. So number 10, which I've labeled yellow, and that was created using Premiere's legacy title format. So I did that using file, new, legacy title. And what I want to do is change this font in all the graphics in all of the projects that I have open at the moment. And the quickest way to do that is to go up to my graphics menu up the top, and choose replace fonts in projects. It opens up this window here, which generates a list of all of the fonts that are being used in the projects I currently have open. And I can see that Ministry Extra Bold is being used nine times. So it sounds like it hasn't detected that legacy title. I'll select the font that I want to replace and then go down here and choose a replacement font. Let's choose something really boring like Arial and then click OK. And then you can see if we go back to our first sequence, it's replaced all of these titles here. And then in our second sequence, which has come from another project, it's replaced all of these as well, except for that legacy title. So it will update everything created using the essential graphics panel, but it won't update anything that was created using the legacy title. So that's one more reason to switch over to the essential graphics panel if you haven't already. Just a couple of things to note, if you wanted to undo this after you've replaced the font, you can go up and choose edit undo, and you can see it will put all of these titles back to the way that they were. But if I go over to sequence one, which has come from a separate project, this hasn't been undone. And that's because I have to undo for each project that I have open. Now, what if you have a lot of titles and you want to be able to change more than just the font? So maybe the size, the color and alignment. So you can do this using either After Effects or InDesign. And I do have videos on both of these workflows if you want to check them out. But if all you needed to do was change the font, this definitely gets the job done very fast. So look, I hope you found this tip useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.